Hi, so today I'm going to be going over a board that was messed up when somebody tried to replace their own keyboard. They tried to replace their own keyboard and they completely destroyed the keyboard connector. Let's go under the microscope for a second so that you can see what this person did. This is a... this is something. Yeah, ready, ready, ready. All right. This looks better than it used to. So as I said, this is a new microscope that was provided by iFixit at no cost to me, which is pretty cool. So you should go to their answers forum, and if you see an incorrect answer to a question, you should correct it. If you see no answer to a question, you can answer it. You may notice that a lot of people don't understand the answers you're giving them. You may notice that a lot of people may not like that your answers are correct, well, theirs are not. But you should not care. You should post anyway just because they happen to do something nice. That benefits this channel. That makes it easier for me to do the work that you guys enjoy. So... Guys and, and girls, you know, I should, I should get a more gender neutral term. I've noticed that my channel now has a 4.5% female user base. So, you people in general. So, you should post there and answer some questions and try to be nice about it. Try to be nicer than I usually am as a thank you. Because doing this stuff on video is a lot easier now that I can actually see through both eyes of my microscope instead of just one. Anyway, so check this out. This is, yeah, this is just a bunch of... So the, the, there was a, a, one pad was ripped over here. So what I did is I scraped away where that via was, and then I soldered, put solder on the via, and then I used this battery wire that I get out of a, <laughs> a dead MacBook battery. So I cut it up, I take it out of the waste bin, I cut it up, and I get this wire out of it. And... That's that. Then I put this green conformal coating over it. So this is an overcoat pen. It's CW3300G from Allspec. That's CW3300G from Allspec. And over here, the same, same idea. I didn't solder directly to the, to the pin. Well, not pin. It's a QFN package. You know what I mean, though. I didn't solder directly to the pad of the chip. What I did is I went right by over here. There's a little probe point on the board. I just scraped away and scraped away. I put some solder on it and then went straight to the pin. Of course, again, I covered that in green, so it's not going to be loose and conductive and move off of the board and cause me nightmares. Same principle over here. The most miserable one, I have to say, was the left option key. The left option key was uh, this one over here. That's going from here, over here. This is actually not shorting. It looks like they are shorting, but they are not. And there's also a lot of green stuff in between so that they will never short. See, not touching, not touching, never will be touching. And you saw when I went to move it, how resistant it was to moving. That was that green stuff there doing its job. So it goes over there, doesn't touch that. Might just want to put a little bit of green over there just to make sure that it never touches that. The... Come on, green stuff. Oh, tell me I'm not out of green stuff. I would cry if I'm out of green stuff. I've had this pen for like a year now and I haven't run out and I use it all the time. I tried buying the black version of it and it is awful. It doesn't flow the same way. and by, You have to smash it so hard that you wind up moving and destroying your wires and the components that you're looking to coat anyway. So definitely don't buy the black one. Buy the green one. They use different material for the different colors. Then it goes around the board over there. And this is where the bullshit is, is because you see, you see this chip, you see how close it is to the RAM slot, you may think, oh, that doesn't add any challenge at all. All you have to do is be careful while you're soldering it. Let me take the iron off to show you. Let me turn the iron off, by the way. I'm going to keep this iron as off as the iron is in the E-Tech training picture that they're using to advertise their course, where they have smoke and stuff just burning away from the iron, even though there's no flux or solder present and the iron's not even touching the board. But we'll get to that later. So what I did over here, Let's say you want to grab the wire. Whoops, can't. Whoops, I'm touching the RAM slot. Whoops, as I move it, I'm touching the chip now. Like, as you try to actually get in there at a right at the angle, also the tweezers are touching the damn microscope as I'm trying to move like this. So let's say I try to get in on this side, right? I'm going to go try to get in on this side to move my wire into place. Look, this is here. Like, this, this is bullshit. If you're going to rip any fucking pad off of this chip, do not rip left option key ever again. That is bullshit. <laughs> And yes, this person did pay full price for a board repair to do this because this is not fun. And uh, yeah, that's, that, that is that. And that's it for today's video. 
huh? What? You mean that this is a practical channel? And you mean that this is a practical channel? I have to show you that this actually works and that I didn't just make all this shit up? Oh, I almost forgot. Gee, when you get to 10,000 subscribers, it's so easy to forget what actually brought you a fan base in the first place. Yeah, so what I'm making fun of here is this is, I, I, I don't even follow Facebook and all that crap anymore. I'm not on most social media. I'm not a social media person. I'm not a social person. So I, I get this, this email of, of a picture of a, like e-tech training and, they, they, and somebody says, so what is wrong with this picture? And it's like one or two in the morning, so I don't get it. And they point out to me, so you see how there's like smoke coming out of the iron, but do you see how the iron is not on and not touching solder or flux or actually doing anything? I'm like, and now there's no solder on the iron? <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, there probably should be solder on there. I'm like, and I, and it's, 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 it gets funny. It's a small, small shit like this. So like one of the big motivations to actually do this class is that Jess has been asking me about this practical board repair class for like six months, and I keep going, no, no, not doing it, not doing it, don't care, make too much money at work, fuck off, not dealing with this shit. Yeah, I wouldn't say fuck off because I like Jess, but the general gist of it was leave me alone. And then she, every day she'd send me like a new message asking me about, asking me about it and trying to get me to, to agree to this and to be a part of this. And then she finally sends me something saying, so, you know, I've been calling this practical board repair and I wanted to have a practical board repair class. And I go, yes. Well, look at what this company is calling it. And I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. And this really just kind of adds to it. Like, you want to call this practical you know what practical is? Practical is I want to advertise my board repair school, my soldering school. Practical is I walk, to, practical is I move two fucking feet over to my iron because I'm a tech who has an iron on his desk. I turn the iron on, I take my solder over here, and in less than 20 seconds, I take the solder, I put it to the iron, and it's going to melt. Well, as soon as this thing beeps, it's going to melt. And then I take a picture of the solder smoking on an actually hot iron. Because I do this for a living. Because that's right in front of me because I do this for a living. Not, oh, well, most of us don't actually do this for a living. So let me get the guy who sits next to me and makes $12 an hour to post pretty pictures on the website to Photoshop a soldering iron that we don't know how to turn on to have solder smoking coming out of it. Don't call your shit practical. Don't steal other people's names for their products. Get, the, get, get out of here, seriously. I'm glad they did that because I honestly would have never ever, ever agreed to be a part of a soldering school. It's like, oh, so the company that decided to delete me from being able to comment on any of their social media after I made them tens of thousands of dollars decided to compete with you and use your slogan. Oh, well, now you get to compete with me too. This should be fun. That definitely did give me the motivation that I needed to do that. Because if anybody's going to be doing practical soldering, practical micro-soldering, practical board repair, it ain't a parts company that has to Photoshop a picture for their advertising of a soldering iron being on. I mean, come the fuck on. All right, let's see. How do I get you to see that the keys work? Oh, this is going to be a bitch. I don't want to take the camera off of the stand because I'm tired, and it's the end of the day. And it sure would be easy right now to Photoshop me typing on there. Or what, what would you use? Not Photoshop, because this is video, like Adobe After Effects or something. You, you could tell. I know shit about <laughs> filming, and there we fucking go. This is a good camera. So, now we're going to type letters into that little search box up there. A. Oh, focus went away. A. Don't focus on my arm. B, C, D, E. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. I'm not typing the right letters all the time because I'm trying to hold the screen. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got the left shift key. I'm yelling now. We got caps lock. I'm yelling now. We got brightness control. We got F function keys working. Oh, but the most interesting key to all of you guys, the most interesting key should not be any of those most interesting one is the left option key. So if I hold down the left option key after turning it off and then turning it back on, is it going to ask me what drive I want to boot from? Or is it just going to boot into the operating system? What do you guys think? 
Think my left option key works? Fuck yeah, it does. Practical. See? But there's a good likelihood that maybe my criticism is unfounded. Maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe they've simply found a more efficient way to solder that doesn't require electricity or me buying this stuff. I mean, if I could get solder to show up on the tip of the iron, I would have another hand free for tweezers. So can you just imagine if while I was going around with this thing, solder just magically appearing on that thing, along with flux and smoking without me having to plug it in? Instead of doing this, I could hold a component? I mean, you know, maybe this is crap I'll learn if I go to the school. You never know. But yeah, that is it for today. So that is a keyboard <laughs> connector repair by somebody who absolutely hates replacing connectors. Um, if you want to learn how to do soldering on a connector, but you are going to be learning that from Jessa if you take the course. She is the person who solders connectors. She is a person who does very, very elegant, proper, good looking, good joints, all that micro soldering. And I'm the one who's taking wires out of a battery connector and routing them on top of chips because he doesn't have the wire that's chemically treated. So yeah, there, there's that. And I'm also, I'm also using the same iron I use for all this big stuff to solder a tiny little connector, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah, I do, I do indeed plan on getting some of that, that wire. And here's, here's the thing, because a lot of people like to troll on that. As for firstly, a lot of people like to troll and go, why are you so unprofessional to use standard wire you take out of a battery? You need to use proper jumper wire, such as proper Kynar wire. You know what happens when you use Kynar wire, which is like this fucking thick on a board like this? The insulation alone makes that wire so thick that it's actually going to rip pads off of the board. And this happened on a forum. This was from somebody who was actually nice. It's not one of the usual trolling dicks that's like, I can't believe this guy makes money not using Kynar wire. He was a nice guy, and, he, and he's posting, like, this worked before, but didn't turn on. Now I use Kynar wire to make the jumper, and it turned on, but then it ripped the pads off, and now I don't even get a green light. That's because Kynar wire is not for fucking MacBook motherboards. It is not for iPhone motherboards. Kynar wire is what they used to make the jumper wires on the SSL J9000 when they figured out, oh, crap, we need this one little modification here, but we've already built all of these. They paid somebody on the SSL J9000 console in the 90s to take that little one green Kynar wire and take it from one side to the other on a console that is filled with through-hole mounted components using 1970s and 80s and 90s technology. You want to work on something that was made in 2015, don't use Kynar wire that's this thick. Uh, but yeah, there is, there is a wire that is... <coughs> that is proper for that. And it is some type of chemically treated wire where it's exactly the same as that wire, except it, is, it doesn't conduct electricity through and through. You have to kind of like scrape the ends off with something in order for it to be conductive. So you run it, you don't care if it's touching whatever because it is never going to short components. It's never, the outside of it does not conduct electricity. But at the ends of it, wherever you go to solder it, as soon as you apply the solder, it melts away the chemical treatment and then you get a connection. It is absolutely beautiful stuff. It is amazing. I have seen it before and I have no idea where to buy it. It's just one of those things where I get on the phone to call some type of distributor to ask them about this, and right while I'm on the phone, Steve runs in and says, hey, this person has this on their board, and they went to this other place next door that said that it would take two weeks to fix because they're shipping it someplace, and she said that she's leaving, and she's willing to give you $500. Well, if she needs this. All she needs is that it be done by six or seven. And I put down the phone, and I put down whatever I'm doing, and I start working on that thing. That is pretty much what happens over the course of my day. Again, it's, it's always some, okay, I know you're doing this, but do this now because this will make you money. So what do I do? Do you think I say no to the $500, no to the person who went to the other place, no to Steve, and put down and uh, keep, stay on the phone so that I can try this chemically treated wire? Or do you think I pull another A1286 battery out of the e-waste bin, get my conformal coat pen, and get to work? It's the second one. It really, honestly, I really shouldn't make the time to find that wire. It's just not something I've made the time to. But if you know where to get that stuff, where it is the same gauge or a smaller gauge than this small, like, single-stranded... Let's see if I can get this in focus. You know what? I'm, who am I kidding? Oh, manual focus. Look at that. This stuff... I want this, but I want it to be completely insulated through and through. And again, I know it exists. I have seen it. I have seen spools of these. Now what I need is to know where the hell I buy this or what it's called. You know, that's another thing that people don't get. It's, almost, it's, not, it's not even always the actual the job itself that is difficult. It's simply knowing what this stuff is called when nobody has told it to you. And people will go, well, 
well, how do you not know that this is X, Y, Z? And it's like, what, were you, were you born with that knowledge? No, somebody told it to you. You saw it in a catalog somewhere. You tried it and you learned. Same here. But yeah, this works. This works perfectly fine. It's going to get put back into the machine. I am going to charge them a good amount of money. And we're done. Don't fuck up your keyboard connector. <laughs>